Hello, welcome to this short presentation on building a strong healthcare leadership pipeline. This presentation is designed to be complementary to a white paper that we released a few weeks ago with some strategies and best practices for success when it comes to building a strong healthcare leadership pipeline in your organization. Thank you for joining me today. I wanted to do this quick little presentation because having a strong leadership presence in healthcare is important. And one of the main challenges as it relates to strong leadership is having a pipeline of solid leaders to support your organization's mission and vision. So I want to thank you for joining me today very quickly in today's rapidly changing healthcare landscape. Strong leadership is important more now than ever. Leaders who can navigate complex challenges, inspire their teams, and drive positive change are essential to delivering high quality care and achieving positive patient outcomes. However, many organizations struggle to build and maintain a strong leadership pipeline, leaving them vulnerable to turnover, burnout, and a lot of other challenges that we face. So this short video is meant to give you a taste of the information, like I said, in the new white paper, all about the practical steps you can put in place to create a strong leadership pipeline. Before I get started really quickly about me, my name is Yashika Lind. I'm the founder and CEO of the Lind Group. We are a group of high performance experts that also have strong and deep roots in operational strategy. And so not only do we help individuals and have helped hundreds of individuals all over the world, World, from entrepreneurs, business leaders, bankers, etc., on an individual level to become high performers in their professional life and their personal life. But we also have workshops and we have classes and training in place to develop leaders into what we call more high performing leaders. And if you are an organization that is struggling with some sort of operational strategy and you want to learn how to become more efficient and more effective and decrease the productivity lags that come along with being inefficient or operating with leaders that are costing you about 60% of your revenue by not performing at their peak, then this is what we do. We help you with that. One of the first steps in building a strong leadership pipeline is identifying and developing emerging leaders within your organization. This is going to be the most satisfying way for you to develop leaders from an employee point of view. And from your point of view, this is going to be advantageous from a revenue point of view and also from a consistency point of view. So one of the first steps in building this leadership pipeline is identifying and developing emerging leaders within your organization. This can include identifying leadership traits and skills, providing leadership training and development opportunities. And specifically, we advocate for high performance leadership training because we can get into a whole conversation, but it's been proven to be 80% more effective than the traditional leadership training and development you're probably using in your organization. And also implementing mentoring and coaching programs because that ongoing support is the piece that is missing and is the piece that's going to take the leaders in your organization to the next level. For example, conducting talent assessments and creating tailored development plans can help identify high potential employees and provide them with the necessary resources to grow into leadership roles within your organization. Another way that you can start to develop a strong leadership pipeline is by creating a leadership development program. A well-designed leadership development program can provide the foundation for strong leadership support within your organization. This can include incorporating competency-based training, leadership assessments, and feedback, leadership models and frameworks, and fostering a culture of continuous learning. For instance, implementing a structured leadership development curriculum that includes workshops, seminars, mentoring opportunities, ongoing support, and again, specifically in the scientifically proven method of high performance leadership can help cultivate the skills and competencies needed for effective healthcare leadership. Diversity and inclusion in leadership roles can bring fresh perspectives, innovative ideas, and improved decision-making. It's important to address unconscious biases, foster an inclusive culture, 
and promote diversity in recruitment and promotions. For example, implementing diversity and inclusion initiatives such as diversity training, mentorship programs for underrepresented groups, and diverse representation in leadership committees can help create a more inclusive and diverse leadership team. Another way you can start to build a strong leadership pipeline is to learn to retain top talent in your organization. It is critical for building a strong leadership pipeline. And this can include recognizing and rewarding leadership excellence, providing growth opportunities and challenges, addressing burnout and work-life balance, fostering a positive and supportive work environment, and offering, of course, competitive compensation and benefits. For instance, implementing leadership development plans, providing ongoing feedback and support, and creating a supportive work culture that values work-life balance are some of the things that leaders today are looking for, and it can help you retain top talent in your leadership roles. Measuring and evaluating leadership effectiveness is essential for continuous improvement. And a lot of the organizations that I go into to help them with the improvement of their processes and their operational strategies, they're using outdated methods for evaluating and measuring the effectiveness of their leaders, which is not only costing them indirect consequences, but it also has a direct impact negatively to your bottom line. So when you are measuring and evaluating leadership effectiveness, what you are doing is including performance metrics that actually make a difference. You're providing feedback and performance reviews in a scientifically proven effective way. You're allowing space for self-assessment and reflection and implementing 360 degree feedback processes. For example, conducting regular performance evaluations and soliciting feedback from peers and subordinates, as well as aligning leadership performance with organizational goals can help you to assess the true effectiveness and the impact of the leadership development initiatives that you put in place, as well as the overall performance of the leaders that you have doing the work currently. So as you can see, building a strong healthcare leadership pipeline requires strategic planning, development programs, fostering diversity and inclusion, retaining top talent, and measuring leadership effectiveness from a multitude of different angles. By implementing the strategies that we dive deeper into within the white paper, you or in your organization can cultivate a pipeline of skilled and effective leaders who are equipped to navigate the challenges of the ever-changing healthcare landscape and drive positive outcomes for patients and staff alike. Here is a QR code to go ahead and download your full copy of the white paper. We've made it easy to digest, but a little more in depth with some of the things that I shared here. So you can start to put these practical tips in place in your organization. And lastly, thank you for your attention. If you have any further questions or would like to learn more about building a strong healthcare leader pipeline in your organization, please feel free to contact me and you can see the information on the screen. You see our overall general web page where you can learn more information about myself and my team, as well as find some more articles that'll help you to not only be a better leader personally, but to also implement the best practices in your organization from a leadership perspective. If you want to go ahead and book into my calendar and talk more about how we can help you and your organization, then that second link there with the calendar is going to take you directly into my calendar to book some time and we can talk about it. Usually it takes about maybe 15, 20 minutes unless you really have something you want to digest with me a little bit deeper. And then as always, follow us on LinkedIn. We go live almost every Monday with a Mindset Monday series teaching you the internal psychology and mindset of what it takes to truly be a high performance leader. And then we also have a leading in healthcare podcast, a leading in healthcare community, all of the things that are going to not only help you, but also help members of your team to grow in leadership excellence. So I hope this helps and hope to hear from you soon. Take care.